welcome back to my channel so today it's gonna be like an update and confessions confessions of mistakes and um, yeah that's pretty much what it is so you guys remember when I made the beautiful succulent arrangement in the basket right I'll post the picture right here And now, do you remember when I did the shelving? Let me show you. Oh, that bag just is an empty bag because I need it, but it flew away from where I hung it. Okay, so this is me trying to create shade for this area. Still haven't done it because um, I need my husband's help. So yeah, I got to convince him to help me do that. Um, I really like the steps and stuff, the way it looks in this area. I think it's going to look really good. I can move these planners when I do that. I was just trying to see if I can make it my way, but obviously my way without cutting wood is not working. So I'm gonna need him to make something with more structure. But remember when I did these steps here and I said, oh yeah, I've been watching it. I think that um, that tree back there covers the sun from that side. And I said, right? I also told you guys, oh, I'm gonna, take care of this basket um, because I really like it and I don't want it to get messed up so I'm gonna watch it and you know not let it get messed up so what happened that next day after I built this and I thought that I saw that it didn't get afternoon Sun I placed quite a few plants I'll post a picture of that on here as well I even put it on my Instagram I believe And I was supposed to come out here after I did that. I was supposed to check around one o'clock in the afternoon how, you know, the sun was looking in this area because I was just a little bit unclear. And I completely forgot and I went out with my daughters. And when I came back home, it was three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun was beaming on those plants. Many of those plants were new. Um, they were not transitioned into um that type of sunlight even though even um some succulents cannot just handle that afternoon sun it will burn because they, um the succulents have a lot of water in their leaves and that water will heat up so let me show you what happened what does it look like now i thought i could rescue it i pulled it out of there i guess when you look at it from here right it looks so good but yeah so after that happened it had rained and I allowed the water you know um, I allowed it to get rainwater because I did notice so these are some that also got burned by the Sun um, some of them were goners I had to pull out and I replaced but yeah, like this one, this one had gotten burned, but not as bad. Most of the burn was at the bottom of the leaves, I guess. I don't know why. Why did those get more burned than the other ones? But this one was here. This one was here as well. But um, so the water helped a lot in bringing them back. But these beautiful caladiums, I think they're called. Um, I want to make sure I'm saying it right. I'm not sure because... Uh, I know there's another plant that's called Caladium, but this is similar. Anyway, you remember how beautiful this was. So, what happened was, I let it get rained, right? Then I was like, oh, well, I can't bring it inside because it's got a lot of water and then it won't dry correctly inside the house, you know? Um, it can cause rot, so let me let it dry out. And what happened? Well, rain after rain after rain, I just kept missing it. And I couldn't get it out. So this is what's left. And I'm so sad. You guys don't even know. That day that I got here that I saw at 3 o'clock that the sun was burning them. Uh, I was so sad. But I had to tell myself they're just plants. Because I was like 
authentically sad about it. I'm like, wow, I can't believe plants can make me that sad. I think it was, it was not the fact, you know, that there are plants. I think it was how proud I was of the arrangement and how beautiful it turned out. And also, I guess I was disappointed in myself that I completely forgot and I left instead of moving the plants first. So, that's the confessions about these. So yeah, that's what happened. Many of them, because I had put many of them. This one was on the step. That was on the step. That was on the step. That was on the step. That's still recovering. You could even see some burn marks here. Still recovering. This had already was suffering from some raw on one side. I don't know why. I don't know if, if it's like because I had pulled one of these out that was dry and it created um, an open wound and then water got in there slowly. And yeah, I mean, I have time to trim it and save it, but I just haven't gotten to it. To be honest, because of all the rain, I have not been motivated to come out here and take care of my plants. I really haven't. Um, I haven't even watered my plants in my greenhouse and you know they're in need of watering I'm just telling you guys it's been raining almost every single day here but you know uh, at the same time I am thankful I'm thankful because I still have many of them that are pulling through which I am surprised a lot of my old ones are pulling through but see that's what I mean about established plants that i think wow you know because these plants are established they are doing just fine i need to pick up that cactus it's really bothering me that it's been laying like that forever but this was one that had got burned previously and because of all the rain and where i placed it it's recovered it's trying to come back this one is struggling this is an echeveria um pro newtonberg it's struggling with the rain but it's known and also it's not established but this is Echeveria Alto. She's doing really well and she can handle some water, I think, better than other Echeverias, I've noticed. I also have her over here in a bigger pot. I mean, well, like a bigger arrangement of her. She's also been pulling through. I'm surprised I don't move my plants, not these big ones. I don't. Um, only if they are needing some sun. For those reasons, I might move a plant, but for water reasons, I don't. Uh, just because I can't, I'm running out of space and I can't constantly keep moving them, you know? So, um, yeah. Um, so, this has been pulling through, and I believe I've had this for quite a while. So after, because you guys know that I'm always saying, oh, I'm doing experiments. You can see this. This has been old. If you go way back in my videos, you see this. And it looks almost exactly the same. If anything, the elephant bush is bigger. Um, it's pulling through. It's holding. I'm surprised that this Echeveria Dusty Rose, knock on wood, is has not rot for me. And I think because in between times of the rain... He or she gets a lot of sun and she has a time to, you know, kind of dry out. So I think that has a big part to do with. Look at this cactus as well. Um, I can't remember when I planted that. I don't believe. It could have been before spring. I'm not sure. I would have to look back and see when I made this arrangement. But it's pulling through and it's holding on. Here's an example. I do not. You know definitely that this was planted a few months ago. So it was still during the rainy season. This cactus feels strong. She's doing well. Here, um, the, the plants that were here didn't uh, are, did not make it through. Yeah, and even this one here, she's just letting go. But again, it could be also, I think that there's a big part, I'm sorry, there, somebody's doing their their lawn i think water settling and the sun hitting that water has a big part in whether some plants pull through or not with the rain look at that little baby lizard look at them i think my i think lizards help me too i think they they, they eat some of the bugs that might attack my plant but 
Are you dancing? Are you dancing for the camera? Huh? So itty bitty. <laughs> anyway, so I'm surprised this as well that it's doing so well. But also that was outdoors for a long time. My mother-in-law had it for a long time. Um, this one is so-so. This is a very, uh, um, it's okay. This is from water and sun hitting it. You can see it. You can see the difference. Look at my ghost plant. My ghost plant is old. Um, I've had her for a long time. And she's doing well as well. And so, yeah, I think fall is going to be the key time, the best time for me to plant. So during the summer, I think I won't be making much arrangements unless they're indoor or they're small where I can move them. But then here's another, okay, so, gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk, if you guys can hear me. Another thing is, um, plants that are similar like these, look, there's ants all over this. I'm going to have to inspect to make sure I don't see any mealybugs. But I've noticed that plants that are like these, um, I don't know if you can call them the sedum family because I don't know if these are a part of the sedum family. But they do well with the rain. Look at this. This is not established roots. This has been here. I bought this, what, a few months ago? And I've left it in the pot. I didn't touch the soil. And it's handling the rain. It's doing well. So I feel like plants that look like these, that have these leggy stems and stuff like that, they do well. I don't touch these. And, you know, they're being exposed to the elements. So these are really good succulents to have. Um, doesn't mean you might not lose them here and there, but the majority should pull through. So let me see what else I can show you guys. I mean, you guys can see. The proof is what's, what's making it through. And again, I think the best time for some of you, because I know that um, fall for some of you can be really harsh because it can, you know, the cold. So I don't know what to say about that because I don't have experience with that. But for the people that are dealing with the rainy season, for us, you know, fall, the rain is supposed to calm down a lot. So, um, yeah, I mean, your plants should pull through. I'm surprised that this one here um, has not lost anything. You can see it looks full, looks good. And again, it's in its original bought plant. I mean, bought pot, you know, the plastic that it comes in. Nothing is dead. And they've taken rain after rain after rain. And we're talking about, look, inches of rain. We're not talking about, oh, a little sprinkle. We're talking about downpours of rain. And it's, it's pulling through. Again, you know, succulents are just so finicky. Here's this one. She looks okay. Um, just here. So, um, yeah. So, you guys will start seeing me more. So, my goal for my succulents right now. When the fall comes, I'm going to start like addressing a lot of my pots that I've already made. I'm going to assess them, see if they need to be repotted, redone, revamped, and then placing them. And then we'll see. That will be my new experiment, I guess. We're going to revamp them and we're going to see how they do during fall, winter, and then when the rainy season comes again, we'll see who pulls through and who doesn't. Um, this is a store-bought arrangement as well. I think I bought it also a few months back. So, um, oopsie. That was already fallen. You can see some of these are just not doing well. And I'm leaving things alone. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just, sorry guys, I'm not motivated to try to save anything because... First of all, I have no room in the greenhouse. I have, I don't have a good spot in my house to bring these so that they're not um, 
because if I bring in my house, they're going to lose their structure. I don't have good natural light coming in for them. Or if I do, there's just something there in the way. So it's just not going to work out. It's not, these are not really indoor plants, you know. They do best, they show off best outdoors unless you have them under a grow light. Um, Maria's succulent. Her succulents look so amazing under her grow light. They're awesome. You know, they look beautiful. But she lives up north, so she has a little um, different situation than I do. Her winters are, you know, long. Here, we really don't have any really real winters. Here's one that's doing well. As, uh, again, I did, um, I did this before summer. I just don't remember how long ago. Um, and there's no raw i haven't had to remove anything um these are looking amazing they've grown a lot they've actually enjoyed the rain if anything i thought i was going to lose these um these right here they don't look with the pretty color these get a really nice color when the sun hits them but for some reason they're just not getting it i don't know if it's because it has too much water or it's just not getting enough sunlight but they have this is a terraria bluebird they turn a really beautiful color with sun or maybe also with um, withholding water as well, stressing them out. But um, yeah, look at my cactus. I mean, I hope I don't <laughs> mess up anything by saying this, but look, no raw. Just beautiful, nice plum cactus. That one as well, this one as well. Look at this big thing. I mean, I don't know how long I, I will keep it. Another thing I have been wondering is what if it depends on how big the arrangement is? The more plants you have in an arrangement, they're sharing the water. So is that a reason that they're doing well? Because they're sharing the water and they're not getting drowned. It's not one plant getting drowned. I also think about that. What do you guys think about that? Um, so yeah. I hope that what I'm saying is making sense. I tend to kind of um, jump from here to there because I see things and I want to talk about it so that I don't forget. Um, this plant has been loving the rain, this one, as well as this one. These two, they love the rain. Um, I've never had an issue with this. If it, the only time it looks sad is when it's um, been dry for many, many days. That's when that one looks sad. So I would say that that one likes rain. Um, this looks really good as well. I'm surprised I haven't lost my fret eyes because I did lose some baby fret eyes, but that one has been doing well. This is just an, um, some plants that I threw together that I, I wasn't motivated to make an arrangement, but they were loose, so I needed to put them somewhere. I don't know what's going on with this plant here. It looked pretty with a bunch of babies and now it looks sad. I just don't know why is it so unhappy. Maybe he doesn't like the pot. Maybe I'll have to pull it out. But no, I'm not going to do that now. Um, this here, I'm also surprised because this is fairly new. I planted um, these succulents and they, it wasn't during, um, I believe it was during summer I planted this. And look, it's pulling through nothing is dead really just a few dead leaves here and there look at these pearls how fat they are so yeah so it's like you know you you they're really difficult you know some of these etch, um some of these succulents and echeverias um they're difficult you know you just don't know what's going to be happy and what's not going to be happy this also, this ha was always in my greenhouse and I decided to put it out here and it looks great. If anything, it's gotten so big. I don't know what will happen if I keep it there, you know? That, those look good as well. also. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is what's been going on. Look at this, how tall it's gotten. Let me show you. Look at that. It's gotten so tall. So these are the pots um, that I'll be looking into. Um, oh, I didn't even get to see that. This had a flower, but 
Obviously, I didn't get the flower. I just didn't get to open. Um, I'll be looking into these pots, seeing what needs to be done with them, but that's in the fall. I'm just not going to mess with them because I might be disappointed, so I'd just rather not. I'd rather leave things alone right now. And maybe I'll have more content for you guys during that time, fall. You know, I can just make a bunch of videos. So when fall comes, that's when I'll be pulling this out, cleaning all this up. And see, like those, I'm thinking about beheading those. Uh, they don't look like they used to. Also, I want to get a lot of my regular succulents the mo more common ones that i have inside the greenhouse taking them out and making arrangements with those so that i have more space for sensitive plants for in the greenhouse this thing too i mean look at this this is like just a big old mega big cluster i plan on also chopping it up i'll keep some of the heads together and then letting these babies grow so i'm excited about doing that See, this one needs to be redone. I need to um, rethink how I did this and, and just change that. This one also, I'll, I'll pull that out probably. And if Home Depot or Lowe's happens to have more of these, because I did see them, but I didn't pick them up because I'm like, for what? It's not a good time. I can't place it in my greenhouse right now because my greenhouse is full. So let me just wait. So hopefully when I go um shopping in fall for plants they're gonna have plants that i want but yeah i would like to um put the same one i had here because I, I really like the way it looked you know so yeah look my echeveria um warty or whatever it was raindrop it's almost gone i'm like whatever i don't even care i'm leaving it alone okay sera, sera, right i'm not gonna frustrate myself um this is kind of doing good you know so so there they're surviving this as well look at these these i might chop off in the future and redo i really like this arrangement to the way it looks so this one's gonna flower that'll be nice see some of them are just doing well they're abandoned there and they're doing really good i think it could be because i have this shade cloth right here so even though water is settled on top, it's not cooking on top of the plant. So the water still has a good chance of evaporating without hurting the plant. I think that's why that's doing well. Yeah, like, I, you know, I'm losing a lot of plants. But it's okay, you know. At least it'll keep me going in wanting to, I don't know, buy more and figure it out or grow more these are doing well like i said i put the shade cloth up here to help out with the sun bunch of babies here as well see this one lost some leaves but i think it's um could because it's fairly new see this one okay so two plants they're the same same condition dealing with the same issues this one i think just probably had drops of water in the center and the sun was hitting it and that's why these petals fell and this one did not so yeah look at this this is really nice so i beheaded this but after i beheaded it i placed it in my greenhouse for a few days to callus over then i brought it out here this table this plant these plants right here enjoy this spot right here and i don't know if it's because it gets filtered light you know it just gets enough light to keep them happy and looking good and yeah i don't know same thing with my other plants that are over there on under my palm trees they look really good look at my um what's it called pink butterflies Look at this one. This one is really pretty. I wonder if, um, I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. Judy, I think it is. Judy, is this the plant that you're talking about that you have? This is all over my neighborhood. This is really pretty, thick. It reminds me of a, I don't know, like combination of an aloe and something else. Just 
really beautiful plants. This, uh, these Echeveria Pronumbergs, they're getting better. I moved them over here and they're liking it better over here. I think it's the same reason. The sun is not beating on them while the water is on top of them as well. It got um, pretty loud over here. This one is still looking awesome. No issues here whatsoever. No issues. No, um, and, and that was fairly new. I didn't do that in the fall, um, that planter. And you can see it's under a palm tree. It gets sunlight. I don't know <laughs> what the pattern is there. This one is doing also very nice. Look at how big that cactus head has gotten. These, I believe, like it in this area as well. It's getting a fairly amount of sun though right now. Um, but yeah, I did see like a leaf over there, but you can see that that's what it was. Where that leaf was, that it got dark, there was water settled in there. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I believe that that's what's going on with some of my plants. Um, the reason why um, they start to lose leaves and then the stem is because of water sitting on them while the sun is sitting it. These abandoned here, um, I just leave them alone and they're doing pretty good on their own. So I'm just like, yep, stay there, do your thing until I'm ready to use you in some way. Look at this one flower. Guys, I hope that this video made sense for you guys. I hope that you were able to get some information. Um, I'm trying to be, you know, as clear as I can be and also not repeat myself. I think I repeat myself quite a few times, but I'm just making sure that, you know, that um, I'm explaining myself correctly. Um, I still think that I'm dealing with mini bugs over here. I need to, um, somebody said something about a product. I can't remember the name, but I am going to look for it at Home Depot. And if I find it and it works, I'm gonna share with you guys. Well, just look at that. Look at those colors, guys. Look at those colors. It's so happy here. Loves it here. And I mean, this plant, this plant will make you so proud. I really like, this is California Sunset. So proud that's the same one that i have under uh, over there on the floor in a container waiting for me to do something with it same one it's just not as i guess stressed as you would say i guess here it is see i think i have mealy bugs i think this has mealy bugs somewhere oh wait i forgot i zoomed in so sorry guys so i believe i have mealy bugs somewhere in here and i'm gonna try to treat it i just make sure um yeah, the thing that she recommended is something that you just put on top of the soil. And then I guess when it rains, it treats the mealybugs. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to try it, but I'm also still going to try um, regular mealybug spray. Uh, but I wouldn't spray when the sun is hitting it. In the afternoon is best, you know, because I don't want my plants to get burned. But yeah, these are amazing. I love California sunsets. They're my favorite. And Firestorm um all those that are like that those are my favorite okay guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye guys have a blessed day